just a complete honor to see something like this. But I actually learned a few things tonight, which is very unusual. I have had tears in my eyes the whole time. was possible. I dreamed about it since child. Since I saw Brother Kwame Ture speak at the community center at my block, he was no longer Stokely Carmichael by then. Dashiki and bearded, skinny, but a massive man to me. Long and brown and a face that looked like it carried its own light. He was the beginning. His voice was my awakening. Asked me to defy my complacency and take a role in the system. I was just a knucklehead kid then. Stealing snacks from the corner store and trying to bag girls with rapping lights. The rest is history. I think I picked that script really because with everything going on right now in the world, it was nice to have a show about a black person being happy. Um, it ends with a black woman getting to get out of her situation and circumstances and allowing herself to just be free, and I really enjoyed that. Selfish is what she is, and my kid is suffering. She didn't mention that. How you figure that? You talked to her, she listens to you. Nina don't listen to nobody but Nina. The biggest challenge. Woo! That is tough. The biggest challenge would probably have to be... It's almost split between learning the dialect uh, or, or kind of capturing Kenyatta's voice uh, or just wrestling with the idea of when to go after Nina and when to kind of retreat. Um, going back on that first one, it's just kind of like... Finding the voice for Kenyatta was hard because it's a lot deeper. And it's like, it's like right here, like it's a lot deeper than what I, I talk. And so I was like, I have to keep working on that. And that took a long time. Dominique was working with me like a long time on the voice. I think we finally got it. Um, and then when it comes to the kind of retreat and like, should I go after Nina? It's kind of that push and pull factor that we talk about in acting. It's kind of like, I want some kids of my own. Lie around in the house and read books by Camille Yarbrough or Bell Hooks. Learn to bake or something. Have a garden and grow me some vegetables to cook and eat. Paint the living room on Saturday. Listen to Nina and close my eyes and sleep for the night for once in my fucking life. That's it. I want to sit in the horizon somewhere and watch the sunrise and set. Never even saw a fucking sunset. I am not alive here. I'm not alive in this chaos. And when you running off with me, it's nothing we can't have. I'm gonna take care of you. Give you the life you've been dreaming of. Show it to me. When you think of someone selling drugs, there there has to be something likable about a person that sells drugs. Like if you're buying from somebody, you're buying from them for a reason. Like it can be because they sell, but there has to be something personality-wise that makes you want to buy from. And if everybody in the hood knows him, everybody in like his part of the neighborhood knows him, there is something unarming but disarming about you, you know what I mean? My biggest challenge, um, I guess you would, I would have to say, hmm, that's a good one. I think that was one of the ones in the talk back as well. Giving myself away to the text, just like, just because she wrote the character to where you just say the words, it's going to happen. All the emotions will flare. Just say it and it'll be done. Trying to build with you. Right here. When a desperate man is desperate, a lot of desperate men tend to raise their voice. A lot of desperate men tend to yell. She is literally right now the reason that she would have been working so hard in these streets. So the person you've been working hard in these streets for a lot to you. Two, she's accusing you of stealing. Would you ever steal from her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you ever steal from her? Yeah. Why do you got money? Hmm? Why are you taking money? Why did I take yeah. money? Why did you take Because she lied to me. More than that, why are you taking money? What's the super objective behind why you took the money and why you feel so upset about her lying to you? Because we're trying to go somewhere. Here. Right, and now you can't leave. And now you're trapped. And what happens when an animal gets trapped? They bite. Relax, I had it counted official. I'm asking the questions right now. You trying to steal from me. I'm trying to build with you! 
You can feel how this changed. Um, we go, this is a nice little drop because the subject changed. It's no longer about her mom, it's about being a parent. Um, and you, what you gonna say back to me, right? Let's just, uh, let's go back to, uh, she's my mama. Okay? You have any questions? No? She gonna see me as one thing, Nina. That's the stain in my son's life. That's it. That's bullshit, dang it. Nope. Sorry, you, I lost that. You, uh, take that back from her. Uh, she's gonna see me as one. Matter of fact, she's gonna see me as one thing, Nina. And get away from her. She gonna see me as one thing, Nina. The stain in my son's life. That's it. That's bullshit, Damon. Make an effort, damn. Call him up sometime. <laughs> That's the best I can do right now. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, take that back to who you mad at, Nina. Who you mad at, Nina? You mad at me and my son, or you mad at you? Because me and DJ, we cool. Let's just, uh, let's go back to uh, her mama. You love her, hate her, want to tap them shits up, burn them, make love to them. What you need for these letters? It's complicated. I'm well read. I understand complicated shit. Try me. They have answers. To what? To a lot of things. decide to look so basically I designed this show roughly back in June and I was jotting down ideas um, as many ideas as like I can get um, just through either inspiration through maybe my thoughts or something I see driving down the street um, and that's the first step. So it's kind of like a rough idea. Then, of course, reading the script, uh, I had to decide, okay, do I want to keep the audience into the play to let them understand that this is still realism um, versus um, non-realism? Um, and in the monologue, I saw the perfect opportunity to separate two worlds. Um, because you had you had uh, Kenyatta doing his own monologue, talking, um, recording in a camera, um, and then you had the apartment look. So that was the realism, and that that was the non-realism. Uh, so I had a, a whole bunch of different ideas, and it just came down to fine-tuning that look. Wait a second. Hey, no, hey, yes. yeah. Are y'all ready for me to get on top of this? Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay, cool. If you hear her screaming, I'm like, ah! If I'm screaming, it's not a joke. Okay. If I'm she's screaming, she'll, she'll be fine. Apparently. Apparently. Yeah, I need two more. All right, but you want to hold her? Okay. You're right there. You guys feel it too? Yes? You do feel it. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 So, I need you. You need me to be your pretend hooker so we can rob niggas. You wrong. I need you for my sanity. And all the memories you could have, could have had to laugh and cry with, it's gone, wiped right out. I, I didn't even realize that. So she got these letters like you say. Letters her mama gave her last piece of something to hold on to. My name ain't throwing them out. She's a sentimental bitch sometimes. Hey, sorry. I was, <laughs> I was And all the memories she could have had to laugh and cry with, it's gone, wiped right out. I didn't realize that. So she got Don't these letters like you say. For voice. Thank you. So she got these letters like you say. Letters her mama gave her last piece of or something to hold on to. So, David Crockett. I'm excited. I'm excited. I shouldn't generally be that long, but. Yeah. Hi, I'm the sunset. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm coughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Bring them out. 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 Put the money up already? Two 